reloading Renta Girlfriend's shed, she'd leave me if I didn't buy her a beachfront mansion. Uh, Jodie's a, a coastie. She's a proud coastie. Jodie's a coastie! She's a proud coastie! <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Tonight on our program... We also know what it's like uh, to struggle. Uh, my mum uh, lived in the one public housing that she was born in for all of her 65 years. Pizza Jackson! Tick tock, tick tock. The clock's ticking, nothing's happened. I've been so busy! What's the best thing you can do during a cost of living and housing crisis? I don't know. <laughs> you buy your freeloading renter girlfriend a $4.5 million beachfront mansion. Oh, I can't wait for me and my renter girlfriend to get into the spa for a bit of a slap and tickle. She's a coasty. <laughs> How do you respond to senior Labor sources who have likened the decision to stop Morrison's Hawaii trip? Oh, look, my freeloading renter girlfriend, well, she's a coasty. She's a proud coasty, and she deserves a four and a half billion dollar mansion on the beach while everybody else in the country is suffering. Oh, haven't you two found a beachfront mansion yet? She's a coasty. A number of Labor MPs okay. privately voiced concern about the decision to buy this bus now. What do you say to them? Oh, well, what I'd say to them is that she's a coasty. My freeloading renter girlfriend, she's a proud coasty. No credibility. Oh, anyway, Tanya Plibersek has given me the best advice and what to do as soon as me and my freeloading renter girlfriend move into our new mansion. Pornography that includes choking and anal sex before they've had their first kiss. Let's talk about housing, Prime Minister. Do you want to? Yeah, I think you've had your say. Oh, and I also had to pop into the Australian Muslim History Museum. Oh, this was very enlightening because the museum showed all the Western countries around the world that Islam's taking over and fucking up. I'll have to get my freeloading rich girlfriend a tea towel just like that one, love. We need something different. We need a apocalyptic death cult. Now here I am taking a selfie and pretending to like these Muslims. Eid Mubarak. Because let's face it, there's too many of the goat rooting bastards in Australia now and I want them to vote for me. Australia's voice. You know. Mian de Lai Shi Xung Xung the Xing Wan Fei and Yi Ching. Guoji Shohui Mayo Tui Su. It is a cost of living crisis. Oh, it's great to see that Richard's taking some time out from playing golf and bullying to give away more of our military hardware to a war that we have nothing to do with. That's offensive. But for one reason or another, the government has changed its mind and has now said, yes, it will give those thanks, or at least 49 of them, to Ukraine, worth $245 million. Uh, you know, the Taipans would not have helped. Uh, the, the Abrams really will. These tanks are in good condition. Uh, they will be able to make a significant difference on the battlefield. And now these are the finest military tanks that our army has. So maybe now the begging little prick will shut up and stop asking me for money. Well, I tried to have a couple of days off. And here I am at a press conference. <laughs> it's election fever! This is the most exciting time of the year for me! There's nothing more fulfilling in my job than standing in a room full of retarded, brainwashed Labour voters who believe everything I say! I've been travelling in the car, although I think this one is still waiting for his first route, <laughs> and this sad-looking pathetic prick 
He's seriously reconsidering his life choices. <laughs> now I tried giving Chuckles some tips on how to win an election, so I told him and his creepy looking buddy to wear a farmer's hat because you look like less of a lying bastard. Oh Stephen, what the hell are you doing man? You're holding a white baby! For the love of God, someone switch it out before Noel Pearson has seen it. Some of you are the wrong colour. Silence! <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> I'm sure the fact that you're wearing a Poofter's t-shirt is gonna win you thousands more votes. <laughs> Oh, that's a funny meme. I wonder who did that. She's a ghosty. The LNP's only cost of living plan is for coal companies. Nuclear. It's fucking nuclear, you prick! This is Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. How are you? Where did you find the money to buy that mansion? He <laughs> you dodgy prick! Just get out of the way! <laughs> Kick your pay slip! <laughs> Full blown cost of living crisis. Oh, stop your blubbering love! You just need to find yourself a dodgy politician to buy you a beachfront mansion! Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl Pay for electricity Pick your pay slip Copa, Copa Cabana That's offensive Copa Cabana Oh, we're doing it Baby Otto Baby Otto. Okay, that's all I've got time for today. Nobody understands how difficult it is to buy a multi-million dollar beachfront mansion. Jodie's a coastie. She's a proud coastie. He can stop with all the photo op and just do his day job. No, no, What you talking about, Will? That's just not fair. Bruce Springsteen! Bruce Springsteen! <laughs> and I've listened to people who are all saying... You prick! No credibility. Jodie's a coasty! She's a proud coasty! <laughs> Peter Jackson!